Hi Capricorns, if you want to come on in and have a seat, we're going to scry your ink blot from an alternative perspective for possibilities. We'll add on tarot and oracle, and then we've got the ghost box here kicking for any audio additions that may inspire or irritate. You know the drill, receive or release freely. I'm going to take a moment here, if you'd like to join me to close the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. All right, Capricorns, let's wander our aura. I feel like I wanted to do like a, like what's going on? Check, check my six, check my six. Uh, I feel like Queen of Swords vibe here. Like, see this? Uh, it's almost like, I don't want to call it, you know, like Angry Please Birds. Listen. But uh, Angry Owls, but it's not. I could perceive it that way. I could. But it, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I am being misunderstood because I'm protecting something. I'm nurturing something. I am growing something. And here's like a nest. Like say this is an egg that is something that is manifesting on the earthly realm and that is meaningful to my heart, whatever the case may be. And it has all these layers of like a nest and up top has these eyes that are protective. Hmm. I'm seeing a limbo bar as well. Is that the limbo song? I think it is. I can't speak. Hmm. Is there something in the throat? Leaning back in the throat and the third eye? So it's almost like, bye, thank you for that inspiration. We're here for the Capricorn Collective, if you'd like to add anything. Uh, You know how they say for... (laughs) I'm just going to say it. Uh, Walking. It's hips before chest (laughs) uh in regards to posturing so this is what it makes me feel like and in this case it's almost like and even in the way this blue jay it's like opening up my throat and as i'm leaning back it's almost like i'm seeing as i'm tilting back chin to chest this is like a mouth that's opening up wide so I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying something or I'm released. And I feel quite proud. I feel quite proud. And then, okay, so when I wander into the blue jay land, it's like, you know, the blue jay is a squawky bird. It's It's a prominent present bird when there's blue jays around. And they communicate with other blue jays very quickly and very efficiently. Some see them as given some of their traits but bear with me that they're bully birds. Good morning. And I, good morning. I'm not, so it's almost like some might perceive what you say or what you don't say, or even within oneself, like, are you beating yourself up? And is there another perspective to take that possibly by leaning back and opening up to open this mouth of what's maybe stuck in the bottleneck of the body, the body consciousness yeah, see, because I almost kind of like, it's like, the, and I'm being very, <laughs> very honest here. I feel like even just my mannerisms, I, as staff being here, but also a Capricorn, so thank you. Like, we're just roaming our aura, and that's amazing. I want to, like, cut myself off and say, er. I also want to possibly, like, stop, choke myself out, or I want to bring in a bridge and lean and go, oh, I can be here and be open. I'm still open without cranking, creating a crank. Like this openness doesn't have to, by cause and effect, create a kink in the back of the spine. Does that make sense? So it's almost like I'm, ah, and I want to go, no, 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 ah. Uh, 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 uh. and then I find this ledge where I'm like oh and then I'm back into posturing hips before bits (laughs) if that makes sense (coughs) sorry about my throat today it's been a dairy weekend with some ice cream so it's kitchen Mm. yeah 
It's got to work its way through, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm seeing here. But I'm so proud. And I'm actually seeing this like in that in that blue jay, but bear with me here for a moment. I'm seeing it transform into like literally the sea goat. And the, the sea part, the tail part, the, I don't know how the coloring comes through, but it's actually like purple. And then we have here like uh, throat and third eye in this eye. And it's like sharp. Yeah. I don't know <clears throat> if you're feeling your intuition is on it, your intellect maybe. Okay, so I going intellect wise, following it. Imbecile. And I want to go, mm, that, that. Am I choking myself out? Am I bullying myself with imbecilic words? in relation to my intellect, like, oh, I'm not smart enough for this, or, uh, I'm, you know, I don't trust my intuition, whatever. You can apply anything you'd like. You know the drill. <clears throat> Limbo. Limbo. Okay, maybe I'm still deciding, and I'm still working through this, even as I'm, like, clearing my throat. It's I'm working through this, and that's not something to beat myself up about. This is where I'm at. I'm not going to beat myself up that I have to clear my throat before I give a speech. I'm not going to beat myself up because I want to find my do re mi, do do. You know the the dodo bird just came in as well. Are they extinct? I believe so. Uh, but in the scale of do re mi and some sort of practicing the la 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 la, the tonage. There's no shame in that. And I'm, I feel like in this moment, I'm not going to beat myself up over that. And whatever context it's in, whatever channel it's in, personal, professional, you know, uh, platonic, romantic. Hmm. Yeah, there's some sort of uh, something happening in, I'm going to say silence. Even though I hear speaking. Sorry, hold on. I'm in, yep, yeah, it's bringing Wonderful. me bringing me into the nest I'm making a footprint see the see the footprint and I'm I'm starting something where it's mud or feels like mud. it's grounding yeah it's grounding energy so it's the earth energy and I'm doing something interesting blah, 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 blah. and then there's a silence but I hear something in the silence. Is it internal dialogue? I feel like I'm recapping something. I'm recapping. Am I doing something with memory? A Rolodex of reflections of memories? Okay, so generationally speaking, Rolodex. And every so often, at least as I did at the desk, Two. you would go through every so often have to clear out your Rolodex of who you know, still has that position or are they still a contact? Something about cleaning out the Rolodex of reflections. And it's like, as I'm doing that, I can hear things, maybe conversations, Capricorn collect, please. Uh, but it's being done in silence. So it's some sort of internal dialogue that's happening here. I think, is that a parrot? There might be a parrot of some sort kicking around. A very speaking, speaking in color, but I see it all as brown. So it's like if a sparrow, yeah, I'm going to go with the bird. I, I go to the sparrows a lot. I really hope that's okay. Uh, you know, a common bird. And, but they, and and or they have the ability to or a skill set that's colorful like a parrot Scrying. is it a budgie we used to have as a kid budgie okay thank you so let's take a look at these oracle cards here capricorns like share subscribe if i didn't say so already thank you thank you thank you thank you uh, and to those who donate, all that kind of good stuff. You warm my haunted heart. Okay, the Rose of Venus. 
codes, codes of the seeds, and the crowning. How do you feel? I feel... Oh, I just heard that song. I feel fine. How do you feel? Okay. So... The Rose of the Venus. Give me a moment, Caps. There's a, a shell. A shell. And I want to say the shell of myself. The shell that I am outgrowing. Is it hermit crabs? Or some sort of crab that will ditch a shell when it's not big enough and leave it. But they're not ditching it. They like leave it for another crab that can find value in that. As they look for a bigger shell and I feel like as something is growing when I go into the spiral of the shell I'm growing I'm growing something that can harness both aspects of myself my intellect and my intuition let's say or my esoteric and my exoteric adventures I can't uh, whatever whatever it may be maybe there's a sensation of I can't I can't and that's fine that's what you're choosing that's what you're saying and I want to say that's okay because you're choosing it's serving something and then I want to go in deeper in the spiral, down in the spiral staircase and say, okay, so what is it serving? What is it serving? Voice, voice, lean back, open up. And then I'm seeing, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I think it's Michael Jackson's thriller. And I'm seeing, no, it's not thriller. It's some sort of music video that I'm seeing. And he like does this scream. Or a wah, and things are shattering around him. The Rose of Venus, alignment, flow, right relationship, and harmony. Harmony. This is holistic harmony within myself. There's two guides stepping forward. Okay, so they're shifting on me. They're, um, when I remember when I was talking about the, the limbo bar, how low can you go and it was almost like well if I can't go that low if I can't almost like break my back leaning Scorpio. back and then same leaning back break my back break my neck over something Scorpio thank you because I can see the grave the old school sticks that you would make a marker to say these are old versions of me and I come back like the Rolodex to reflect and honor them. But I don't stay there. I don't stay there. And I can speak to them when I need to. Codes of the seed. The blueprint is within you. I think that's what's there. Did I make it up? Take the next step. And I want to slide. Uh, is that like a, a seed embryo? We are talking about the eggs. And I want to slide it in there. This is what I'm nurturing, the seed. And then I come into that seed. Okay, so it's like all of this stuff is like flushing certain things down the toilet or spiraling in a tornado, oh. dusting things out, whatever the case may be. Oh. In the throat, in the back, in your butt, in your hips, in your bits, in your posturing. Okay, so that's how it's making me feel. Because I'm nurturing something, you also West. might be preggers, so congratulations, or adopting or receiving news. This doesn't have to be like I'm birthing something, I'm a carpenter, or I'm birth, whatever the case may be. It, even just to receive, receiving the codes that are the seeds, okay, the blueprint, taking the next step, the crowning initiation, thresholds, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. And see how her hands, I think it's a her, it doesn't matter. Uh, this person's hands are like home alone, like, ah, uh, okay, but it's not. So when I saw originally like Michael Jackson, ah, whatever song that is, whatever, coming into home alone, there's silence. It's a silent scream because it's like jaw dropping. Like, oh my God. And then I remember when we were, I was talking about the ledgy thing or the double, <laughs> double chinny, you know, little shelf there. It's like, and then I pick up my jaw. Look. And I'm like, yep. Yep. I am here. I am, I am here. And my intellect and intuition, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, a new job, 
new car. I don't know how else to say it, but way, way, way down here. And I, excuse me if my nails are just disgusting, but you know, that's what happens when you do lots of things. There's a baby being handed up. The baby representing whatever it is, this version of you that's being born, this idea that you're having. And I don't want to make it sound all mystical because it feels danger. It feels like it is what I truly desire. Yeah, sorry to take a look at my nail. Does that make sense? And I'm protecting it. I'm protecting it because I I'm learning how to say it. Say it, don't spray it. I'm learning how to say it, but I want to know it feels like a tone. Some might also be uh what is that? Light language? I like I don't know. It sounds really weird. Maybe learning a new language. Engineer. I'm, uh, I'm also, Pisces. I feel like there's a busyness. Uh, people are reaching for me. I, and when I say people, I don't know actually what they are. Maybe they're shamanic energies. Okay, because it just switched on me. So now I'm seeing this as a head. And this is like an antler or something. And I'm reading something. You know what it looks like? It's like a, an emotional or empathic, ethereal, call it what you will. Grinch, who stole Christmas. But instead of being green, it's all blue and Capricorn style sharp and it's reading a book and I've got like this blanket here and I'm quite cozy I'm quite cozy and then I'm seeing like those I think they're called chaps hmm Hide now. Okay, so eight, the the engineer came through when we were talking about that, and then the eight of submersibles and the ten of Levithians. and this coloring of these cards. And you know me, I'm gonna read the art first versus. I want to place the brown like in the blanket, maybe, and the the blue hues here. In that. Okay. Clock. Yep. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, there's a big clock up there as well. Oh, this is, um, <clears throat> I'm restoring, I'm going through that Rolodex and also, you know, like reflecting and removing people from, or, you know, versions of myself, coffee. whatever. <laughs> I do need a coffee. Uh, you know, pulling things out, cleaning out the Rolodex. I'm also restoring and updating people. Like I'm scratching things out and I'm putting, oh, you know, uh, John Sumery, you know, was a real estate agent. Now is this, or this is their new phone number. This is what they're doing. I'm also updating Okay, I'm in the back spine body. Criminal. I just heard smooth criminal. Da -da 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 -da. Smooth criminal. Very Michael Jackson oriented. It's, man, it's fine. It's just <laughs> definitely not my expertise. But I'm going to go with it. The crowning. And I'm being crowned sit when I sit at this table. Because everyone, when I'm at suddenly this table... Okay, so I'm in here, like the, when I'm at this table, there's a frog down there as well. Um, and the frog is like a glow-in-the-dark frog. Can I don't know if they can see in the dark. When I sit at this table, okay, the way I'm seeing it as other souls, different, different people, I don't know who it is. Maybe it's other versions of myself. Eh, it's not for me to, to get constipated on. And it's like we all place our swords and our weapons on the table. Like, this is, 
everyone's cool. <laughs> Does that make sense? Just everyone's cool. It, there's nothing hidden. There's, it's just, there it is. And let's talk. But there's a respect about having whatever that thing is. It's one skill set. It's one conversation starter. Even maybe it's just like putting the Rolodex out there, the, the blueprint even. Because even if it's not a weapon, it could be like a rolled up blueprint. And it's everyone's aware. It's like some sort of awareness comes forward. And it's not about being the same. It's about being, I'm going to say honest. There's those other people again. Something happens really fast when I'm in here. 41. No matter which way I'm looking at. The the emotional grinch. It's almost like when you're in study mode or hyper focus mode. People might perceive you or maybe you perceive yourself. I don't know. I keep saying people, but I don't know who they I'm are. Uh, they see you as like moody or broody because you're focused and it's like, I need to, I need to focus. So please don't interrupt. And then I'm seeing some sort of partitions, whether it's a curtain or like one of those accordion doors or uh, something like in between some of my rooms that don't have doors, like I hang curtains. So it's like a very soft border in case the harsh doors uh, you know, isn't quite necessary, but there's still this veil, but there's still this veil. And this feels like when I'm in this study mode or reading mode, this focus mode. Okay. So he, I, I'm going to say it's masculine energy. It came through or it's for yourself. I've also taken off a part of my mask and I'm looking at this mask. I'm also seeing a torch. When I go through that graveyard, Am I like, yeah, I'm Capricorn's like, by all means, if, if this is, you know, you have the power, you can pause, you can come back to it. You can rewind fast forward. Uh, I typically would start racing here to, to close out at a decent time. I don't know what even that means, but I'm going to keep going. I'm eternal. That's wonderful. That's really nice energy. Okay, so, sorry, I was looking at the Eight of Submersibles. I'm thinking something's going to happen really fast. And then the comet came through. It's like when I have, I've decided to take the next steps on something, whatever this blueprint is that I've decided to make, this design, architect, architect, engineer, architect, and engineer. So whether it's you and somebody else uh, within yourself, masculine, feminine, you know, again, we've, we've gone through all the, all the polarities and the partnerships really, right? That's what they are. Uh, that it's being designed and then decided, designed, do, designed, and like these addendums coming through. Because as it, as it's happening, it's, there's something about, it's not like reinventing. Shine. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's, do you know what it feels what like? What do you want? Y yeah, like just having a good time. Are you for a good time? Not a long time. I like that. That makes me feel well. All right, Capricorn. Sorry. All right. Okay. So the owl, I want to come back to him. Uh, I don't know if I'm making this up, but I don't think I am, but I might be filling in some blanks creatively. So bear with me. When I see this owl, I'm seeing a statue that could be in many places, but I'm going to just go where it's being referenced Bedroom. to Bohemian Grove. And before <gasps> Go back in time to the original intention of Bohemian Grove, which is where artists and poets and musicians, actually people of more of, a, you know, middle class, etc., would gather and camp to be inspired, to exchange and, you know, just, you know, here for a good time. 
And over the years, over the years, what, whatever the truth is, is I don't know, but let's just say for simplicity's sake and like, uh, you know, rich people took over and again, no hard on for rich people. I think it's beautiful. Uh, elites, maybe different people, uh, different intentions, whatever the case may be. And nonetheless, I believe unless I'm making it up, there is somewhere on the, the Sorry. present property is this owl and it means something okay so i might have unnecessarily gone through the whole bohemian grove thing whatever that owl represents because i think it has something to do this is what i don't know it's actually an emblem or a symbol of something else that's what i don't know what it is the owl of course can mean anything to you and follow that always 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 follow that versus my yammering and my complete unknowingness but my love for adventure okay so there's something about th about this gateway style because it's gateway this owl is it's a it's a lo large thing i don't know if it actually is but it's standing anyway so whatever it's attached to in regards to older knowledge i feel like something has just taken advantage of it or has d taken it decided to utilize it and imprint it with their blueprint does that make sense with maybe this collective yes. doesn't matter i'm not judging it it's there but it brings me back to the purity of intention of this owl energy of wisdom, storytelling, sharing amongst all the networking people, different minds, different hearts. But there is some sort of common understanding that you you put your cards on the table like everyone needs to be able to relax. There's no defense we are safe. We are safe. Is this a long winded story to get to safe? I really, okay, it's fine if it is. <clears throat> anyway, and then it brings me into not because it, it was, you know, poor, because I don't think that was actually the case. It was just a pure, simple intention of a, of how to collaborate and inspire each other with the wisdom. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I did not did not butcher that five of wands where we don't have to compete it's not even necessarily a collaboration it's enjoyment it's i feel safe enough to enjoy Tuesday. does that make sense i feel safe and it's like being on vacation on a resort where you feel as though the powers that be and maybe you are one of those powers that be in relation to your own environment, essence, energy, etc. Being in an environment or a resort where you can tell they've done the best of their ability to have a safe place be felt so you can roam and experience jet skiing for the first time or play Mahjong. So, I don't know, whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what it makes me feel like. A safe place to converse. Okay, so in the moon, and there's the crab down there, of course. Not likely. And I want to place the crab right there. Did I do it? Yeah. And now see how that Grinch slash Blue Jay becomes like the background of the moon. Oh, and I'm ho yep, howling at the moon. My shadow and my shine equally howl at the same illumination. Queen of Wands is on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to get ready to close out here, Capricorns. And it'll probably take like eight hours for this video to upload because I'm in the countries. Okay, does that make sense, Capricorn? I hope. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, somewhere along the lines, one will receive. A granted wish is on the bottom here. 
And I want to note as well, like these, these guys are all like going back and forth. I'm seeing people protect a graveyard. And I say people again, just a persona, a personality, a part of me, an aspect of me, an archetype, whatever the case may be. Okay. They're protecting it. And you know, like if you're seeing a security guard and they're reading a book, but they're there, but their peripherals on guard, right? And they're on guard to this ancient wisdom that footprints are being built. I'm growing within because something new is growing. There's also something else. I, I said some sort of berry. I don't know what it is. Cancer. Okay, so thank you. So the cancer creative energy here of the intuition. And this could be happening in a different realm. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's just following your intuition as well as your intellect of reading the book. And then it swaps on me again. And then that's where I see like one head's facing that way. And then the blue jay-esque with the sharp beak, you know, Spirit. hips before breast is pressing forward, very present. It's like duality is done. And it is switching so fast in front of me. Like I almost can't focus. Okay, so now I'm coming in here to ground and focus. Duration. The duration of duality is done. And the, the seed or tree is coming forward, if that means anything to anyone. Attraction. Okay, the date tree, a granted wish. Whatever you truly desire, as it, if it's been bouncing back through the dualities of do I, don't I, do I deserve this, don't I? Am I being silly? Am I being, you know, dumb? Am I being strong? Am I being this? Like this, do, 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 because it's, you know, you, you take a minute to, to discern and decide. Enlightenment discovered through knowledge will, will free Cemetery. you from doubt. Enlightenment discovered through knowledge will free you from doubt. Oh, those are, are those dates? Is it not a berry? Those might be dates. And then as we're closing out here, the cedar tree, evergreen durability, enduring perseverance and limitless light brings your wishes to fulfillment. Oh my goodness. If you want to take a screenshot so you can read those and less my ink filled fingernails. And then on the bottom is the Rowan tree. And good news is behind that transformation and regeneration, encouragement and protection, quicken new things to be born. And then, yeah, berries possibly grown. A granted wish. When I was seeing the dates down here, but I was seeing a berry, but the berry didn't make sense because the berries weren't there yet. The Rowan tree. Okay, Capricorns. Oh my goodness. I hope this serves you well. And 3303, as I just looked up, if that means anything to you. Until next time, thank you so much for being my muse, for holding space Monday. for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura, our aura. I hope it was educational, entertaining at least. And until next time, thank you for scrying with me.